Do y'all remember like in like the 80s and like early 90s? It was like, this was a cute pose when you would go to Olin Mills and get your like family portrait taken. <sighs> it's Andrea Dancing Star, and we're going to read cards for the astrological sign of Aquarius. Let's just check in. It's still Mercury retrograde. I'm going to just like, I'm doing some new cards, signs, and sky mates. I mean, I'm going to do regular tarot too, but let's just see what, what signs and sky mates card comes out for Aquarius. Let's just see. This is just kind of like a general reading. You know, just a general Mercury retrograde Aquarius reading. Finally, I got a good shuffle out of these. They're kind of tricky to shuffle. They're made out of like weird cardboard or weird paper. Okay. What card should we tell Aquarius about? What signs and sky mates card should we talk to Aquarius about? What signs and sky mates card? They're so weird. Okay, that's three. Capricorn and Pisces. Do you care about them? Maybe. It's a lot more than three cards. It's like ten. God, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. Okay, Scorpio and Sagittarius. Who they are the lie detector and the philosopher, 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 the philosopher's stone. No, they're not really the philosopher's stone, they're just the philosopher where you'll find them. Researching ancient Egypt's hieroglyphics. I have never found a Sagittarius or a Scorpio doing any of that, but whatever. What you'll remember, they love to make each other feel alive. Scorpio and Sagittarius. Okay, moving right along. Virgo and Pisces. Do you care? Who they are, yin and yang. Where you'll find them. Giving each other holistic massages with natural oils. Okay. What you'll remember. They're old souls and eternally youthful at the same time. Okay. Good God. We got so many fucking Virgos. Literally none of them are Aquarius. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm talking to Aquarius right now. Apparently, we all need to know about this. Virgo and Capricorn, the observant masterminds. Where you'll find them growing magic mushrooms in their garden. What you'll remember, they'll nurture each other's sensitivity by being present. Oh my gosh. Virgo and Sagittarius. <sighs> Who are they? The catalysts of change. Where you'll find them, creating a recipe for a homemade cocktail. <sighs> Sorry, I'm like, I'm such a smart ass right now. What you'll remember, they may be, they may frequently bicker, but they're absolutely hilarious. They're ab fab. I love ab fab. Pisces. Okay, let's learn about Pisces. Planetary rulers. Jupiter, the planet of expansion, and Neptune, the planet of fantasy. Element, water. Mode, mutable. Motto, hello world. Aries and Taurus. Who are they? A whole vibe. Where you'll find them? Debating whether to go out or stay in. What you'll remember, despite their contrast, the passion between them is otherworldly. And Aries and Aries. Who they are, the hotshots who steal the show. 
where you'll find them spontaneously skydiving or enjoying competitive sports. What you'll remember, they're unmistakably hot and hilarious. Okay, well, that was kind of seems pointless, but, you know, hopefully my prose was comedic enough to help you stay. Let's just get to cards. Let's do that for Aquarius. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's do cards for Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. I haven't done cards for two days, three days. It's been a little bit of a break. You know, short break. But let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Tell me what's going on with Aquarius. Okay. So that's that Ace of Wands. And it went out like all wonky. And then it spun around on the glass top. And then it kind of like teetered on the glass top before it actually fell to the ground. Uh, Two of Wands reversed. Queen of Swords reversed. Okay, so what's the Ace of Ace of Wands? I was going to say the Ace of Swords, but that's the truth. A Ace of Wands is some kind of big action, but it kind of looks like it's not really happening because it's on the floor. And it's the Two of Wands reversed. What's going on here? Tell me about this Ace of Wands. Tell me about this Ace of Wands for Aquarius. Tell me about it. Thank you. Here's the Ace of Swords. I predicted it. Uh, Virgo Energy, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Reversed, Revoiced, and you got the Knight of Wands. He's kind of burnt out. He's kind of like in the hangover morning, you know, where he's hungover in the morning. He's kind of like clammy, sweaty from being hungover. And being in the desert by himself. There's no fire. And the Three of Cups reversed. It really looks like, I mean, it kind of looks like there's some kind of Three of Cups situation that's like old, that somebody's been like not letting go. Um, and nothing's really happening with it actually either. Um, and also there's some kind of truth that's being spoken about this like guaranteed gift of abundance. There may be a person that's like coming along to help you uh, with this guaranteed gift of abundance. I just kind of got that some people don't know about this truth or maybe someone is finding out the truth about some kind of third party situation that didn't really happen and they're not telling anyone they're keeping it quiet they're keeping it in the dark maybe with a Virgo So, is this Aquarius that's keeping this, like, quiet and in the dark? Or is this, like, a person that Aquarius was supposed to be working with? What's Aquarius's, what's Aquarius's position in this situation? Page of Cups. Two of Wands reversed. Okay, so I'm going to say that that's people that you were trying to work with or that were wanting to work with you. Because the Page of Cups, he's looking like, so I laid them, they fell out and I had it like this. And then I have these cards right here. So he's like looking over here, looking at some kind of new opportunity away from this thing that's not happening. This wands, I mean, it's really phallic. It's not happening. Three of Cups situation that didn't happen. Someone like... Is 
like somebody saying that somebody is like having some kind of an affair or something and they're not really having an affair. Um, it's kind of what it seems like to me. There might be a Virgo involved. That's all I'm going to say. It's very slow moving. It's slow moving gifts of abundance. That's kind of like whatever this person that you're not working with anymore. That's what they're focusing on. They're focusing on this slow moving guaranteed gift of abundance. It's money. That's all they care about. Fantastic. Because I feel like Aquarius, you care about a lot more than money. And let's see what's coming for you. They kind of like settled with something that's small. Nine of Pentacles for Aquarius. Six of Pentacles, balanced contracts, independence, financial independence, happiness, a clean frame of mind, a clear frame of mind. The bullshit from the past is bullshit. Okay, we knew that. The Chariot Reverse with the Five of Swords and Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. Hmm. You know, that card's not always my favorite card. It's just kind of not. I mean, we can call it being strategic. We can call it being strategic. We can call it being strategic because... Oh... You're not moving. It's Mercury retrograde. This is the thing from the past. This is a person from the past. They want to come back to you. Okay. Yeah. No. Uh-uh. You're not going to go back to them. You're not moving at all anywhere towards them. You're not even talking to them. You're not even listening to them. And you know that they want to come back. And that's why you're being strategic. Okay. Okay. They're just still stuck in exactly whatever nonsense they were falsely living in when they were communicating with you. Just so you know, they haven't changed at all. Ace of Cups over to the left hand side, face down. The moon reversed. Oh, wow. And the Ten of Cups. Okay. So if something new comes along, maybe don't be completely defensive. Don't completely kick it. Don't put blinders on. And don't think that it's going to be awful if it's something brand new. If it's someone brand new. Because I feel kind of like something really beautiful is trying to come in. I also feel like they're fucking vacuuming in the hallway. Don't block it. Don't block it. There's something really beautiful coming in. Uh, maybe possibly it's going to happen in the daytime. Maybe possibly it's just going to be completely like whatever they say to you. There's no bullshit. There's no mystery. There's no questioning. There's no like cryptic verbiage. It's all just like good it's good there's no bullshit and it's actual true love so um yeah you just keep doing you um i guess i'm going to stop this reading now because they're just going to keep vacuuming but yeah 
if something new, someone new does come up to you, talk to you, there's a little bit of chemistry there, maybe give them a shot. Maybe listen, because it really looks like something beautiful is trying to come to you. The past shit is definitely thinking about you. And they want to come to you, but... They're such liars. You know that. Okay. 